You, you must choose, Mr. Bing. Either, it makes no difference. <laughs> choose, you jackass. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron, and for today's video, we're headed to the world of isometric action RPGs. We're headed to the world of live service model games and something weird is happening. Normally, when you are playing these games, you play a month, then you switch to another game. Then you play a month, then you switch to another game. Then you play a month and so on and so forth. And then the cycle resets and every game feels new. It feels fresh. It feels like there's something to explore that is going to be fun. And something weird has happened recently. I have been on YouTube. October will be five years. And I think this is the first time I've ever seen this. Torchlight Infinite. Last Epoch. Path of Exile and Diablo 4, I'm just talking about those four, are all releasing cycles, leagues, or seasons basically within a 30-day period. I, I, I don't exactly know why, but I'm going to take a guess at it. I'm going to take a wild guess at why this has happened, and of course, that is only my opinion. So we're going to talk through each game, what is the date for you, and then I'll show you a couple teaser trailers that has been released. Now, the first game that we're going to be talking about is Torchlight Infinite and love them or hate them. I know pay to win mobile game. I think this game is an absolute blast. I think it's a lot of fun. I'd get a lot of crap for it, but I enjoy what I enjoy. And I think this fast paced, fun action RPG is great. And this isn't a sponsored video. I play it every single season with my community and we always have a good time and they drop multiplayer. Now, I will say this morning, a few hours ago, they dropped the teaser trailer for their new season, Clockwork Ballot, and they did something that I don't like. Last Epoch dropped their date over a month ago, and then Torchlight just dropped their date and undercut them. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they just don't care, or maybe that was a that they did that on purpose. But either way, the new date, they're going to release all the information on June 29th, and the new date for this new season is July 4th. So new Torchlight Infinite date or season on July 4th. Enjoy this little teaser trailer. to my main my favorite game and of course that is last epoch now before we get into last epoch i just have to say thank you again to senior developer co-founder of ehg mike who stepped into the town portal yesterday yesterday me and frosty larue had episode one of our new town portal podcast and ehg provided teasers and leaks never seen before for cycle two that we showed off during the podcast 90 minutes lots of awesome questions answered just thank you so much mike and ehg for the continued support now, Harbingers of Ruin drops on July 9th, so it, or a time of recording in 25 days and 23 hours, which means you get Torchlight Infinite on July 4th, then five days later, you have Cycle 2 of Last Epoch. And if you don't know about Cycle 2 of Harbingers of Ruin, I have played it. It's absolutely awesome. We are getting the new Pinnacle boss system. Basically, Last Epoch is introducing its version of Shaper in PoE, It'll be the hardest fight in the game. We're getting new random encounters with the Nemesis system. Every character is going to have its own dodge evade mechanic built in. So you're not required to take a movement skill. All new balance, new items, updated passive trees. It's going to be awesome. Enjoy the teaser trailer for Harbingers of Ruin. Do you realize what you've done, Traveler? Do you know what you've unleashed? Ruin approaches. Now let's talk Path of Exile because there's lots of questions around when the next league is coming and GGG released this post. Path of Exile 325 expansion timeline. 
We're in the third month of the Necropolis League, and you may be wondering about the time frame for our next expansion. In today's post, we'd like to give you a short update on that matter. We're currently looking at late July release for 325 expansion. Like the Necropolis expansion, we expect that 325 launch to happen simultaneously on PC and consoles. This means that you have plenty of time to complete your challenges in the ongoing Necropolis League if you were planning on doing so. We'll reveal all the details live during the GGG live event around the middle of July. Stay tuned. Now, at least Path of Exile is not right on top of Torchlight and Last Epoch. I'm guessing this is going to drop late July, like literally maybe the last couple days of the month. Right now, we don't have a date, but I mean, they said July. They didn't say August, and I doubt that they're going to push it into August because then they're going to be going up against Diablo 4 Season 5. Now, we currently don't have a release date for it. That being said, Diablo 4 Season 4 ends on July 6th. And normally they do that simultaneous once one ends, the next one drops. So my guess is that we are literally getting Season 5 on July 6th or maybe July 7th. But I don't think there's going to be a gap there in delays, especially as you already have a release date. For the expansion that is coming after this so there's no way they're going to push that back because that means likely they would have to push back the expansion so just in order one more time and then i'm going to tell you my theory torchlight infinite july 4th last epoch july 9th poe end of july and diablo 4 august 6th or 7th Really a 33-day period, you have four isometric action RPGs dropping their update, and I think this is why. The Elden Ring DLC. Now, I get it. This isn't on a live service model. This isn't isometric. This isn't hack and slash. This is third person. I understand. I don't think people understand how big this DLC is going to be, at least from a content creation standpoint. Now, not everybody, but a large majority of large streamers and YouTubers are going to be covering this game for weeks. And anything that's going to be dropping around Elden Ring's DLC, all the air is going to be sucked out of their lungs because it's going to be going towards Elden Ring. This game is going to be massive. Even large content creators that didn't even play the first Elden Ring are playing it right now in preparation for this game. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying that Torchlight Infinite, Last Epoch, PoE, and D4 are all making decisions around this game, but I don't think any of them want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it because it just not doesn't make sense because they know how big it's going to be. That is the only logical reason I can think of as to why these isometric live service games are all stacking on top of each other. So that is my current theory. That is the best thing that I could come up with. But I do want to know your opinion out of those four games. What where would you put them in order? If they all dropped on the same date, which one would you play first? I'll start last epoch. So let me know in the comment section below out of those four action RPGs, which one you would play first. Please like, share and subscribe if you think I have earned it on today's video. Best way to support is Patreon. First link in the description. We have movie night and game night coming up for June and join the discord tonight. The giveaway goes up for free action RPG merch. We're giving away a free hat. Literally, all you got to do is join the discord and hit the check mark. That's all you got to do. Also linked in the description. I'm done. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron out.